what is going on guys welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to like comment and subscribe this helps my channel grow and get my videos recommended on youtube without further ado let's get to the video so usually or should i say the vast majority of the time athletes who tend to get plenty of media coverage are often among the top three best players in their related sports in the nfl because quarterback is the most valuable position Quarterbacks such as Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes received the most mainstream media coverage, and rightfully so. In football, or known as soccer, the best three players are Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Neymar, and they also received the most media coverage. And in the NBA, the best three players right now are Kevin Durant, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and Nikola Jokic. And your educated guess will be that these three players will receive most of the main media coverage, right? Well, not really, especially if it is the NBA. Whether you're watching Fox Sports or ESPN, which are the two biggest NBA media outlets that fans usually consume, for some reason, LeBron James is still the topic of discussion nearly every single day. You know, I get it, he's the face of the league and he's popular on social media. You know, the more these news outlet talk about LeBron James, the more ratings and viewers they generate. But real NBA fans who are actually watching the games and want to learn more about the game of basketball are getting sick and tired of this whole LeBron James segment almost every single day whether it's on ESPN or Fox Sports. This is what's like watching Fox Sports and ESPN whenever discussing anything basketball related. Had more weirdness from LeWeird James oh, yesterday yeah. because Thank LeBron you. freaking James. LeBron. Tree of LeBron. 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 And LeBron. And LeBron. 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 LeBron James. With LeBron James. And LeBron. LeBron. Of LeBron. LeBron. I don't necessarily have a problem with them discussing LeBron James every single week because as I mentioned before, he's the face of the league. But how do you call yourself a sports media network when you go weeks without having a segment about the current top three best players of a particular sport? Now let's, let's take a look at the three players I mentioned earlier. First with Kevin Durant, who is having his third best career scoring year and by far his best season since leaving my OKC Thunder. Kevin Durant is averaging 29.4 points per game 7.6 rebounds and 5.6 assists while shooting 52.9% from the field and we know he does most of his damage outside the paint which means that he's scoring efficiently and not only that he's doing it with the James Harden who is having his worst scoring season since 2012 when he was playing third fiddle behind Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. And to top it off, the Brooklyn Nets are winning games and currently the first seed in the Eastern Conference. Despite everything Kevin Durant has been doing this season, the only time I see ESPN or Fox Sports have segments about KD are whenever he's responding back to people on Twitter or, you know, even that, the Brown is still somehow mentioned in the conversation. A recent example was this Monday when Kevin Durant scored 51 points while getting double teamed most of the game. The scoring efficiency of Kevin Durant is simply unreal. You know, KD shot 51.6% from the field, 50% from the three, and 93.3% from the free throw. Basically, a 50 50 90 game. I don't think there's a guy in the league right now who can get you 50 points as efficiently as Kevin Durant. After this masterful performance, I was expecting debate shows on ESPN and Fox Sports to have a segment about it the following day, and of course they didn't. But who did they talk about? Of course, LeBron James. Undisputed even had a segment about LeBron winning Western Conference Player of the Week. Player of the Week. Really? No one cares about a goddamn Player of the Week award. As I was reading the comment sections, you can see people are tired of the LeBron segments as well. And let me just say this, if LeBron had a stat line like KD did on Monday, my god, we will never hear the end of it. And there will be at least two segments about that game, whether on first take or undisputed. Then you have Giannis Antetokounmpo, 
The Bucks are third in the Eastern Conference and their big three hasn't really played much together. When they did play together so far this season, they are undefeated. Giannis is second in scoring behind Kevin Durant and he's having his second best year in blocks, averaging 1.6 per game. But the lack of coverage Giannis is getting is shameful. Like how does the reigning Finals MVP, who put up 35 points, 13 rebounds, 1 steal, and about 2 blocks in the Finals, not get any mainstream media coverage? I'm mostly talking about First Take and Undisputed, because these are the main sports shows people tune up to watch. And you know what's crazy? The last time there was a Giannis Antetokounmpo segment on either First Take or Undisputed was about a month ago. And the only reason there was a Yana segment was because the Bucks had just beaten the Lakers. And prior to that, the last Yana segment was on opening night against the Brooklyn Nets. Then you have Nikola Jokic, who has been playing out of his mind. One can argue he's having a better year than his MVP season. Jokic's averages are outstanding. He's averaging 26.5 points per game which is 5th in the league, 13.8 rebounds, which is 2nd in the league, and 7.3 assists. He has the best player efficiency rating so far this season. And guess when was the last time First Take or Undisputed had a segment about Jokic? The last time was after the Markeith Morris incident. All I'm saying is I get it that LeBron James is the face of the league, but I think these sports networks need some type of nuance and start talking about the actual best players in the league. I honestly think that, you know, you might call it a conspiracy, but in my opinion, I think LeBron has got to sign a deal with these media networks to have segments about him. It makes no sense for LeBron to be the topic of discussion day after day, even over the current best players in the league right now. Yes, I know that Giannis, KD, and Jokic may be playing in small markets, but for ESPN and Fox Sports to go weeks without even acknowledging their greatness is simply ridiculous. Let me know down in the comments if you're also sick and tired of the lack of coverage players like Giannis, Kevin Durant, and Jokic are getting. Or if you think otherwise, comment your thoughts down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.